Lovely Scorpions, welcome to your April 2020 reading. Hope this reading finds you well. Stay healthy. And um, enjoy, I suppose, your isolation and get the best out of it that you can. This too will pass. So I, I hope that you all stay safe and stay healthy. This is a general reading for you, Scorpio. It's a reading for Scorpio Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign as they will, uh, some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. But also if you listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign, you will also get more depth, more detail out of your monthly reading. So. A lot of us are, still, are going to have the time, certainly, to, to peruse the past readings as well. Timing's always very different in these readings for each of you because your natal charts are so very different. Um, so go back and listen to past readings and some of, you, some of those might resonate with you for this month, which I've been told happens. So um, let's have a look at... Um, this is a general reading. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. I'd like to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on my channel. Your support is very much appreciated, so thank you very much for that and welcome to all the new subscribers as well. So let's have a look at what April has in store for you, my lovely Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, I feel like there's, you know, you've got the four of pentacles and this is coming from the past, you know, the last past few months where you've been um, either concerned and, and keeping your money, um, trying to save your money. Um, some of you have had a bonus or an inc pay increase or something of that nature where, but you're holding on to it. You're holding on to it, which is understandable in these times, I guess, too. You know, you're holding on to onto what you have and you're very cautious. So there's no big purchases. There's no big spending. Um, it's about being really careful with, with the money that you do have um, but also not being too cautious you know when you hold on to something too tightly you lose it anyway you know so um, also if there's you know someone that needs help or someone that's less fortunate than you you know and see what you can do to help out and it doesn't have to be financially it can also be with your time um, you know a phone call or or some sort of connection to see if people are all right. So it's about also spreading your goodwill, spreading your generosity uh, in that sense as well. Okay, so let's have a look here at the, the, as we come into April. You've got the sun. So, you know, whatever's going on out there, whatever's going on out there in, in the larger world, the world at large, um, what's going on with you, Scorpio, is that you've reached this point in your a horoscope in your life where things are actually falling into place maybe out of adversity things are working out better than you'd hoped maybe in adversity it's caused you to rethink how you're doing things and and how you're working what you what you're doing for work um, your hours of work um, so you know it could cause a rethink but things are going things are looking up for you the sun is is the card of expansion it's the, it, the card of growth so whether it's personal growth on a personal level growth on an awareness level of what it is you want to do um, how you want to work from now on um, projects that you want to put in place becoming more creative about how you earn your money um, that you're going to start seeing really positive results come from that because that's also going to bring celebrations so there's there's happy times here there's some, and for some of you there's some sort of celebration coming up whether it's an anniversary a birthday uh, a birth a birth of a child um, whatever it is but there's celebrations around you this month celebrations around you in the month of April um, which is going to bring joy it's sort of going to lighten things up which is really good, you know, but there's also a, a celebration in a, having a sense of family around you. Okay. Um, it's going to 
there's going to be in April for you a rethink, a new le new learning that's coming in. There's a rethink, a new appreciation for, for something around you, whether a, a, a new uh, relearning something or learning new things. It might be learning a new way of working, learning a new way of earning money. Maybe you're working from home and that's a different thing for you, but it might be something that is a permanent situation that is something that you might like to do. Uh, so there's there's changes here. There's new learning coming up. There's development of new skills. Uh, there's a new start here um, as far as how you think about things, how you perceive things. Are you starting a course? Great time to do that while you're in isolation. You can do it online too. There's new learning here. So are you enrolling in a new course? Is that what it's you've sort of learnt as well from this um, this study there for some of you as well? Then you've got the Page of Pentacles and it's planning. This is this is planning for your financial future. How are we, how are you going to move ahead here from this? Um, what changes are going to be put in place? So this is the planning stage. This is the planning of finances. So maybe your plan got a, a budget in mind. You're budgeting. Your um, your you have a, a, a plan of, of savings, you've got a plan of uh, working another job, working from home in a different way, um, different ways of earning your money. So there's something here that you're planning to achieve the financial independence that you're seeking. So you're going to be doing these sorts of this sort of planning that's coming up for you in April this reassessment but it's successful you've got the sun so any changes that you're bringing in play into play here uh, as far as as how you're working and what you're doing it's going to be really successful for you it's really going to be um, a positive it's going to have a positive outcome it's going to really work for you then you've got the queen of swords and the queen of swords is aquarius libra capric um, gemini person male or female that is around you that is going to play quite a prominent role around you um, this person is really thinking about something really processing something uh, can be a little bit controlling they know how they like things and that's how they want things so you've got to really get them to a place where you know they're not just the only ones that are calling the shots things you know they need to fit into a group situation so there's this person that can come in and it can be quite uh, have have expectations of the you know they're the center of the universe and things are going to revolve around them and it's not quite going to be like that so that needs to be re reviewed and assessed and they need to be sort of told how things are going to work so this person's going to be very much around um, a, a lot uh, in your environment. I also want to say that for some of you, this is actually the energy you're bringing in. It's an energy of being successful, of new learning, of being in control of your life, of what you're learning, how you're learning it, um, what you're doing, so uh, how you're thinking, um, what you're putting in place, uh, being organised. So this is how you're going to also be feeling in, uh, in April as well, which is really, uh, really good because it's going to have positive outcomes. You've got the world here. So anything you put in place, anything you plan, anything you take control of, anything you think about, anything you start in April is going to have really positive results. Now, when you've got the world card, there is success here, but it's not success that's going to drop in your lap. It's success through efforts. It's success through, through work. It's success through really uh, persevering at something to get the results that you you want to get um, so you with effort there's you're going to get some really good results for some of you it's it's working globally or communicating on a global level um, as well so whatever you're going to start it's going to spread it's going to encompass um, a lot of people um, could be over the internet communicating with groups of people over the internet something that you have to offer um, the opportunities are certainly there. If there's a new business that you want to start, a new project you want to start, changes you want to bring into your life, it's going to be varying degrees for all of you. It's going to be different for all of you. Because it, there's going to be, uh, as a result of that, there's legal documents here. This is, this is um, institutions, it's the law, 
it's signing of legal documents, it's um, things to do with the legal issues and the law. Um, it's also to do with religious institutions. So this is to do with traditional institutions, traditional gatherings, education system, um, whatever, you know, medical hospital system, whatever it is. But there's going to be things to do with these traditional um, systems that are in place. So you're going to have some sort of interaction or dealings with um, the law signing leases. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. It can be um, you tying up loose ends, you expanding your business, you seeking legal advice, whatever it is for you. Um, so it does, you know, it's, it's just denotes uh, traditional institutions. So as we move along here, you've got the Eight of Cups and here is the Eight of Cups. So, you know, in your evaluation, in your re-evaluation, in your assessing of, of what you reviewing of your life and what, what you want to change and what you want to keep, there's situations that you're so ready to walk away from. You're ready to turn your back on. You're ready to move away from situations. Um, so you're ready to move on from something from it could be the way you work it could be an old job it could be a relationship it could be a friendship it could be a way of thinking it could be behaviors it could be the way you feel emotionally um, you know to to change that to turn that around uh, so there's there's things that you're walking away from for for the betterment of you the betterment of where you're going and what you're doing um, in that reflection, in that moving forward, which is a good thing. You've got the um, the Seven of Wands as well, and the Seven of Wands is, you see, you're ready to move on. You're ready to leave the past in the past and take with you only what you've learned, the wisdom you've gained, the knowledge you've gained, um, the knowledge about what you want to do, how you want to do it, how you want to work, pursuing your dreams, pursuing your passion. Um, and the doors open behind you and you're going to go through and you're going to take only with you what you've what you want what you've learned what is good for you everything else all the lessons and the hurdles and the and the battles you're going to leave that behind so there's a real turning point here there's a at the end of April there's a real turning point that's coming here you're so ready to walk away from something and start a new beginning start afresh start afresh with something in your life could be work could be family could be relationship could be friendships could be um, behaviors attitudes the way you think cycles in your life can it's many different things for, for all of you um, but you're so ready to walk away from it which is good I'm going to draw four cards now out of this deck I love this deck look it's just a fun deck great imagery Great, great imagery. And so I'm going to draw four cards for you and see how we can add to this reading of yours for the month of April, Scorpio. Let's see what's in store here. Right. Oh, it's interesting. You've got this card, and I do shuffle them between readings, but you've got this card that everyone seems to be getting this month, not surprisingly. So I'll, let, I'll show you in a moment. So you've got the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups is about your twin soul. This is about a connection with your twin soul. This is a connection with a significant other. It can be friendships. It can be your partner. It can be a new partner. Uh, it can be taking your relationship to deeper levels, a deeper understanding. It can be a, a new relationship. And let's face it, get online. Everybody's online now with this isolation. And so it's a great time to, to meet people online. So, you know, there's opportunities there to meet your twin soul. It's about f uh, meaningful friendships as well. It's going to be really important and play an important part in um, April for you. This is the card that everyone's getting, the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about self-isolation, self-reflection, introspection, working out what it is, what are your dreams, what do you want to create, what do you want to bring into your reality, 
from your dreams, from something you've always wanted to do, something you've always thought about doing, something you've always dreamt about doing. And so now it's time to actually start manifesting it, working towards bringing it into your reality. Um, and in that isolation, there's that self-reflection. There's that introspection, which is an absolutely fabulous time. It's rest and relaxation and withdrawal from the everyday that keeps us, our mind so busy that we don't think, that we don't go we don't think deeply. We have an opportunity to do that now, to really self-reflect. And that's coming up for absolutely almost everybody, uh, which is really interesting. You've also got the Knight of Cups, and this is communication. So the internet is going to become really important to you. Emails, internet, Skype, FaceTime, um, communication over the wires is going to be really important. So you're going to send out uh, messages. You're going to receive a lot of emails, a lot of messages as well uh, in moving forward here. In, in, and it could be through your, you know, your plans. What are you planning? Who are you needing to contact? Who are you needing to communicate with? So a lot of this communication is going to be uh, communicated over the ethers rather than face to face don't you get that the way we are at the moment okay then you've got the nine of, of wands and so this is a little bit of a warning card things are not as they seem so just be mindful of deception because this this um, crocodile or lizard or whatever it is gecko is camouflaged so she's sitting there all lovely and relaxed and she's got this huge monster behind her that's camouflaged. So it's about reading between the lines. It's about listening to what people aren't saying. What is, is the hidden message? What is lurking there for you to really be aware of in moving forward? And sometimes it's our own self-sabotage that plays a part here. So it's, it's being aware of those things. It's being aware of what's around us, being aware of our environment, not being complacent, not um, really making the effort, not being complacent and letting things unfold on their own, but really taking an active part in, in those things. This is a card I'm drawing from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart and the card's already fallen out for you instantly. Oh, two cards. I'll give you those two cards. Okay, oh, it's interesting. You've got the chakra cards, your heart chakra. So it's about working on your heart chakra. It's about healing your heart chakra. It's about opening up your heart chakra. That's really important to allow the energy and life force to flow through you. So obviously your heart chakra points are going to be really important in April. So it's about meditating. It's about alignment of your chakras, opening those up, removing removing whatever blocks are there so that you can have the, that energy flow. You've also got solar plexus. That's really interesting. You've got solar plexus and the solar plexus also is one that needs to be unblocked, needs to be opened. That's done through meditation. That's done through meditation, through unblocking, through uh, any, any, any emotions that you're harboring that need to be released to allow that energy to flow through you, to allow that peace to come back. Um, and allow that healing, that body, that healing of the body. So it's really going to be a month of introspection, of reflection, of meditation and of healing for you. Very, very important. Then you've got angels of abundance. I love these. Let's see what your affirmation is, what your mantra is for this month. Let's see what's in store for you here. Hmm. So we've got detox your friendship. So that's that cleansing. That's that cleaning, cleaning out, unblocking your chakras. Let me get my glasses for you. Okay, so your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous and supportive. And that really sums up the month beautifully. And get rid of whatever is not needed in your life, whatever is blocking you, whatever is stopping that flow in your chakras. Meditation, cleansing. Great time to do that in in this time of isolation and reflection. Very important for you, Scorpio, for this month. So I wish you many, many blessings. I wish you healing and I wish you um, good health, 
stay safe. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Meanwhile, stay safe. Many blessings.